Hey everyone, this is Nick Martin here with the American Steam Railroad, here for your October 2025 video update on the American Freedom Train number 250. You may have seen just recently that we started our Making Moves campaign to fund our last major mechanical projects to get the locomotive ready to move under its own power as we wrap up boiler work and approach the year 2026. In this month's video, we're going to show you a little bit more about what the first phase of that project is going to look like. So here on the boiler this month, our big push has been finishing up our stable and washout plug work to be able to test the boiler, put it under pressure again. We started by pressurizing the boiler up to 30 PSI with air to find where our initial leaks were. And then once we were satisfied with the results of that, we moved up to our hydrostatic test at 240 PSI, which is our maximum authorized working pressure. And upon completion of that test, we were pleased to find that the installation of our 74 new stay bolts on the lower part of the backhead was proven solid. That then gave us the green light to relay the rear wall of fire brick in the firebox, which has already been started. And then coming soon here in November, we're going to be reinstalling the cab back on the locomotive. We did find a little bit more work to do on the washout plugs, but once we have another successful hydrostatic test on those, we'll be able to continue our work on reassembling the piping and getting the locomotive ready to fire up once again. So as I mentioned earlier, we're kickstarting our last major mechanical projects to get the locomotive ready to move. That of course being the running gear. We're looking at phase one right here. This is one of the rod brasses out of the locomotive. Normally you would see this pressed inside a rod, and this is the wearing surface between the rod itself and the crank pin on the wheel as the locomotive moves. And it's lubricated with hard grease. Of course, over an 80 year career like our locomotive has had, these do need replaced from time to time, in our specific locomotive's case, it actually rained for a period of time without a whole lot of hard grease. So the result on several of these bearings is what you see here. The inside is scored and chewed up. And on this specific one, there's actually a crack that runs all the way through the thickness of the bearing. It's things like these that locomotive operators look for when they're turning locomotives to safe, reliable operating condition like what we're planning to do. And that's why phase one of the Making Moves campaign is seeking $15,000 to buy material and machine new rod brasses to replace these ones that are no longer suitable for service. And every donation, merchandise sale, and membership that you buy will help us get closer to reaching that $15,000 goal and have this important first step in the running gear project covered. We hope you'll visit us at AmericanSteamRailroad.org to see the ways that you can contribute at the end of this year and get this part of the restoration done. So with that, we want to thank our donors, volunteers, contractors, and our hosts here at the Midwest Royal Preservation Society, and everyone we've collaborated with in the last month to make sure that progress is made, donations come in, and this locomotive steams out of the doors that much sooner. And once again, you can help us reach that $15,000 goal by heading to our website at AmericanSteamRailroad.org.